Greetings all. Hope you're enjoying your day. Tatai! Peace and joy. I just want to have a short conversation. And again about the events that we are seeing unfold not only in the North and the European and America but in Africa in Asia we know about the move of uh, America into Africa to get its resources the move about of the European after it lost its resources in Russia into Africa all the Africa conferences all the the, the EU Africa the US Africa the German Africa the Italian Africa and then came the Asian Africa, you know. African leaders went to China. All of them now, because they don't trust each other. America was sent one ambassador to, to negotiate a contract. But 50 of them, 54 now, plus their whole entourage now. All the other rich people around them have to go because they don't trust each other. When the little bit of money flowing, everybody wants they cut. And when I say a little bit, a little bit, just compare how much money went to Ukraine and how much went to Africa. They give Ukraine 75 billion. And they come to Africa and offer them five for all 54 of them. That's the way it is. Even Korea jumped in and Korea didn't promise them anything. But they all signed contracts to give their resources to Korea. The same resources that are going to make the weapons that are going to be used to invade Africa. You hear what I'm telling you? The weapons that are going to be used to invade Africa. That the Japanese and the Koreans that Australians are using to kill off the black people in Asia. And this story is not being told because between Ukraine and Israel, everybody's focused on that. And a little bit on Taiwan. But the Australians are doing their best. I know you guys don't remember Tasmania. But research it. Look at what they did to Tasmania. Look at what they did to the natives of Australia that they found it. Look at what the New Zealanders did to the Maori. They devastated their civilization, destroyed it. The last Maori now is, is trying their best to be Caucasian, to be a New Zealander of English descent. But anyway, you see what's happening in Africa. And those of you who have returned are caught in that. Not knowing what to do. If you pulled up everything and moved to Africa, stuck in a situation that's developing only one small error and it 
will turn into a Rwanda. One of the best things that I see happening is that in Kenya and in Ghana now, Nigeria, that the tribalism that was created between the leaders and this wasn't created by the European it was created by the so-called traditional leaders the tribalism so that they can rule over a little area and take all the riches and wealth from that area and enrich themselves The tribalism is not causing people to fight each other, but they're joining together to throw these up. These wicked, <laughs> both the traditional and the political leaders out. And when I saw it coming, I said to people, do not pay attention to the war in Europe coming to Africa and you think that the Europeans are not coming but this is what what you're seeing is showing you that they are there they are there I mean you look at some videos about Kenya and you'll see that this thing started with a law it didn't start with that law, but the fire that lit it, the paper, was the law where you see Caucasian people in the Kenyan parliament making sure that the law they wrote was passed. You're seeing the same thing in Ghana. And even the president came out and said, hey, on, on my watch, we are not going to allow any objections against the European, the Caucasian. Not on my watch. Well, he's still there and uh, Ghanaians better hurry up and get this thing done. Same thing with Tanubu. And the fellows in Benin and Togo and the Bongos in Gabon in the Congo and the you see the Africans in South Africa going in the opposite direction. They're voting in the DA. That, that was the apartheid leadership. And they allowed Ramaphosa to go include them in the government. But anyway, watch what's happening because you're in it and why you're in it today is because nobody warned you what was going to happen you who are called diasporans today instead of Africans some of you came to Africa and would rather talk about your big house and your pool rather than look at the situation that was developing and warn your brothers about it. Not not to come to, don't tell them not to come to Africa, but come prepared to help fight the battles that got to be fought. To help teach the African what kind of person he's dealing with when he's dealing with the Caucasian. Help remind him that we how we were treated and show him that it's better to go his own way than to be treated like us
go to Africa trying to make money off the diasporans that you're trying to bring in. You're going to give them advice, but you didn't advise them about this, what's happening now. How could you? How could you? The destroyer of your own people. Better start rewriting the plan. You better start rewriting the plan. Otherwise, you're gonna cut ca caught between now. And when you get caught between, you're like a man who in a forest and didn't make a fire break around his house. You're right in the middle of it. You can't escape. And the fire is burning all around you. you. Better get moving. I hope I gave you some good advice that you're gonna listen to and take heed. Peace. Have a great day wherever you are.